Google is a Google is a great company. Let, let me it has thirty thousand people. They have you know pr or twenty thousand whatever the numbers. They have pretty safe jobs. On the other hand, you know Google also has thirty, forty, fifty billion in cash. It has no idea how to invest that money in technology effectively, and so it, it prefers getting zero percent interest from Mr. Bernanke. Effectively, the cash sort of gets burned away over time through inflation because there are no ideas that Google has on how to spend Aaron. the money. So, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can, if I can help, help Peter answer your question. The, uh, the core problem we have going forward, since I think we're supposed to talk about the future, is that you have two forces that are going to govern much of what's going to happen in the future. The first is globalization, which we're not going to repeal. And the second one is automation, which we're not going to repeal. And if you look, these problems are ultimately cast in political systems in the West, and I think eventually globally, as jobs problems. And the solution to jobs problems, in my view, is education, right? Education at many levels in many different ways, which we can discuss. I don't see another solution to this. Uh, it's absolutely true, as Peter says, that these gems, if you will, and you were nice enough to call, to call, to call those companies, so, describe them so well, they're not employing enough people. So how but they do have, you have $50 billion at Google. Why don't you spend it on doing more in tech? Or are you out of ideas? And, it's not a, and I think Google does more than most companies. You know, I'm, you're I'm, trying to do things with self-driving cars and supposedly with asteroid mining, although maybe that's just part of the propaganda ministry. Um, <laughs> and, you know, but, but, and you're doing more than Microsoft or Apple or you know, a lot of these other companies. Amazon's the only one, in my mind, of the big tech companies that's actually reinvesting all its money, that has enough of a vision of the future that they're actually able to reinvest all their profits. They make if we less were, if, profit than Google does. But if, if we're living in an accelerating technological world and you have 0% interest rates in yeah. the background, you should be able to invest all of your money in, um, in, uh, in things that will return it many times over. I'm gonna, and the fact that you're out of ideas, I, maybe it's a political problem, the government's outlawed things, but uh, it's, um, all right, it still is a problem. I'm going to go to the audience very soon, but I want you to have the opportunity to address think, your I think paucity I'll, I'll, of I'll, investments, I Eric. think I'll just let his statement stand. You don't want to address the, the, <laughs> the cash hoard that you do not have, that you, your company does not have the creativity to spend, to invest. Uh, Excuse me. What you discover in running these companies is that there are limits that are not cash. Uh -huh. And there are limits of recruiting, limits of real estate, limits of regulatory limits, as Peter points out. There are many, many such limits. And anything that we can do to reduce those limits is a, good, is a good idea. But then the intellectually honest thing to do would be to say that Google is no longer a technology company. Um, and that it's, that it's basically, it's a search engine. The search technology was developed a decade ago. Um, it's a bet that there will be no one else who will come up with a better search technology. So you invest in Google because you're betting against technological innovation in search. Um, and it's like, a, it's like a bank that generates enormous cash flows every year, but you can't uh, issue a dividend because the day you take that 30 billion and send it back to people, you're admitting that you're no longer a technology company. That's why Microsoft can't uh, return its money. That's why you know all these companies are building up hordes of so, cash because they don't know what to do with it, but they so, don't want to admit they're no so, longer tech so companies. Briefly, and then we're going to go so, to the. So, the brief rebuttal yeah. is you know, Chrome is now the number one browser in the world. Uh, the platform for enterprise innovation on top of, of Google is, I think, phenomenal the rate at which people are using Google to, to redo the way their businesses work. There's this is many, Google many, there are many, many examples of business innovation that Peter's not choosing. And of Google's investments in, in